ASL Challenger League Group Stage Round of 32. And I believe to the top left hand corner of Habitation Station, we do have the orange Protoss, Mr. Inked Warrior. And to the top right hand side of Habitation Station, spawning as usual as his fabulous pink, it is going to be. Pink Amina. Awesome, awesome. And I, I didn't see what Neuralis said to get wrecked, but... I don't know, but I'm yes. curious. A so, lot of messages removed in Twitch yeah. chat. So Neuralis, be, behave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I don't know what it was, but it was something. It's, it's always, if you do one thing, there, it just removes it all. It's weird. <laughs> uh, maybe he was spamming. Yeah, don't maybe. Know. That guy. Nothing but nothing but trouble. <laughs> um, so the gateway comes down, the barracks comes down. Fairly no, standard uh, for yeah. both sides. Uh, probe will go out to scout, and it looks like a single gas will be thrown down by Inked Warrior, and no gas yet for Mr. Pink. He's sending a SCV to kind of scout his own base, which uh, not. It's not the worst thing to do, yeah. But two gas coming yeah. down for Inked. Mm. So he's going to be looking to do a tech play. Yeah. Um, I think on this map, Stargate makes the most sense. The air distance to bases is virtually nothing. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, he'll also know from the gas timing um, that it's not going to be, he's not going to have to worry about a Reaper right away either. I may be able to throw it down a little quicker. Yeah, definitely. He might even try and do, I think it's Liquid Hero that proxies the Stargate in his side of the gold and then just takes the gold. Yeah. You, so you I mean, can that option is available. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like he's thinking about expanding quickly, but then he moves the probe back up. And yep, there's a Stargate. My alarm for work's going off. Okay. <laughs> Ready? Good, good stuff, good stuff. Reactor yep. coming down, two Marines out there. Hold it, it's the Stargate. Yeah. So, Oracles, but it, I don't know, I think Pink hasn't scouted yet, has he? No, he hasn't uh, no. gone in to take a look at. But, this map, kind of, if I'm ever playing on it, Oracles is something I take into consideration just with the rush distance. So I'll either do factory first and get with the mines, or I will do what he's done just now, kind of, and get a reactor fast, but build an engineering bay. But disregarding both of them, more most of the time I just scout. Like, yes. That's yeah, how you I do. When you do a lot of scouting. I was trying to think of all the different reactions that I do, but I was like, no, like I scout and then I build a turret. That's yeah. that's how you react to an oracle. Yeah, <laughs> if you can much. scout it, then yeah, widow mines, etc. Just a wee bit of defense. But you really yeah, should. He will have, uh, yeah, he will have those six marines, and he is putting them near his mineral line. So hopefully that will help him as long as he doesn't move it out of the way or anything. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, easily six out. Might even have eight by the time uh, that swings around if he keeps building. But uh, yep. and his command center is going to be down. Just finishing up. Little supply block for a but second there uh, for Pink. Because of the command center finishing, so that's kind of lined up nicely for him. Huh. So he mm -hmm. looks like he's doing a one-one-one. Yeah. Really. Oracle Which, swinging in here. Is he going to get caught immediately? Uh, he swings around, but he's going to get yeah. So I has unfortunately not been able to get damage done with this opening, yep. but he's still expanded behind us. He has warp gate finished now, so he's still he's in a solid position. He's definitely not out of this. Yeah, he's uh, still alright. The oracle's still alive. At least he didn't lose it. Um, he will swing around to the natural and maybe get one, and he'll be able to pick up the mule if he likes. He's not turning his beam on yet. He's nope. just sitting there. 
maybe he'll recall it to his Nexus. Because he has uh, the green words, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't uh, know where the Marines are now down, so the yeah, mule gets know. saved. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh no, wait, wait, wait. He will kill us all. He didn't send all the Marines. Yeah. Only sent this. a few, and you do need six to be able to do that. Now, and normally uh, this isn't a problem, but... Uh, there's a severe lack of multitasking here, which means that Pink is now floating 1,200 minerals. Yeah. Not and producing us, anything. Yeah. Exactly, and all of a sudden this Oracle that should have got pushed away with nothing ends up with 12 kills. Yep, and not only 12 kills, but it's forced Pink to not be producing out of his unit producing structures for the best part of two yeah. minutes now. Yeah, much, much too long. Um, yeah, eight of those kills being workers, and it's going to spot this drop too. But well, it looks like Ink is going to be going into Phoenix. Yeah, so he's Phoenix just going to shut up. down drops. He'll come right after the drop and start shooting at it. Uh, he's got the photon overcharge as well, but the Widow Mines will try and run into position. Their only detection is actually the Oracle, uh, and it doesn't have the energy right now. That's actually quite a lot of kills he got there. Yeah, that was six six kills, and he doesn't yet have the energy to deal with that. Uh, yeah, it will take. Yeah, he's pretty close to it, uh, about ten seconds before he can clean that up, if he does yeah. opt to do so. And meanwhile, Pink has decided upon probably the smartest course of action for the amount of money he had. He's taken his third, putting on two extra barracks, put down two engineering bays. Well, his SCV count is like fairly non-existent. Like, no, it's 25. I mean, that's still okay. But where are they all? It's 10 it's in his little, main. Uh, a little funny here. He hasn't. Yeah, there's the invasion. Finally, uh, I was going to say he hasn't actually done anything. Well, he loses another loses shot. A got a little too that's... close. Yeah, got a little too close. He's going to try and burrow this last guy. Right. No, no deal. Oh, I thought it was going to get very close. Shot. I thought it was going to kill the Oracle. <laughs> yeah, he even he even yes. knew he was so close, like half a second away from losing the Oracle. Um, and yes, yeah, so, but that denied a lot of mining time. Not only got the six probes killed, but he oversaturated his natural for like a minute. Um, so they're moving That's back on up. Effect. Not too bad. But the third CC is now done for yes. Pink. And he's not actually supply blocked just now, so these units are actually coming out on time. <laughs> he still good. doesn't have a tech lab though. So not only is he missing combat shields, but he's not even started stim. He and also think... hasn't yet thrown turrets up. Um, no. Which I feel he should, given that the Oracle is still out there. And, you know, it's you've got to know your own reaction time, yeah. Like, war prisms as well are really common on this map. Yeah. Although... These three medevacs are going to get in, aren't they? Because they're going to get they're going to get spotted by this probe, though, right in the middle. Uh, yes, they should react. be spotted. There's not a lot of defense, though, here for a protest player. He hasn't made many units. No, uh, he has two cannons in his main. Yeah. I have to see how he gets on with us. Interestingly, he's going to to attack. Yeah, yeah, so he'll try and drop in two locations. Not the worst idea at all. I uh, think it is the worst idea considering. Yeah. <laughs> look at his money. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's now oh, banked yeah, to K. Oh, well, that's it, too. <laughs> because all of his micro yeah. and APM is going on these is, two drops yeah, on instead drop. of producing units. He's going to get we'll the get in here, though. Yeah, Mothership goes down before it sets off the photon overcharge. Unfortunately, he's targeting like pylons instead. Yeah. He could have got the stair game instead. Um, which well, would have been a lot more damaging. I think he's now just noticed that he doesn't have stim. Or at least I really hope he did, because a drop is one time when you want the stim. Yes, definitely. More than any other. Although I didn't actually notice, but the Templar Archives is finished for Inked. So he's looking to be going into Storm, and if you look at how much gas he's got banked, mm -hmm. I mean, that's a lot of Templar. Yeah, he's been focusing on that definitely the whole way. And, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know if Pinkamina is going to be A number one at dodging storms. Or be able to build ghosts. Yeah. Even though it's not 
really that difficult. A lot of low level players still just don't, don't acknowledge the existence of ghosts. Yes. Well, think a lot of people difficulty. still think ghosts aren't real. Well, true. So, you know, but they're not super scissors. Really useful. He's also not mining a lot of gas. He's got almost everything on minerals. He's only taken three of the six gas available to him. So, yeah. that's, so he's got 1,600 minerals, but only 50 gas, and that's holding him back on a lot of these upgrades. And uh, yeah. you should really be looking at that. He's also yeah. very dangerously sitting with uh, three medevacs full just sitting in the middle of the map. In the middle of the map, yep. Yeah. That, not only are they three medevacs, that's his only three medevacs. He is yeah. not really making any others. Yeah. Looks like he's swinging back on in, looking for another drop. Uh, he's going to fly right into it. Oh, he'll pick a decent spot. Yep, he's going to get right behind the Nexus, or just there will do nicely. Uh, he's not dropping now, there we go. Still not a, really yeah, a reaction. Yeah, stem not done yet. Yeah. If he could get the uh, Templar archives, and that's what he is focusing now, that would be a huge pickup. He's and got he it. Does he does it. still leave now. Yep, picks up, and he's got a boost on Odie here. Uh, oh no, he's boosted right into the back. That's a, that was a little too greedy. Uh, to be going after oh, that and loses the entire drop. Yeah. And no, he's he now banking three and a half thousand minerals. Yeah, we want about eight more barracks, maybe. Yeah, I think eight more, another two star ports. Yeah, and a ghost academy. Combat shields. <laughs> yeah, all kinds of things, really. Uh, yeah, yep. an armory. Uh, yeah, just, just stuff. Yeah, because he's got to go up to 2 2, and he, right now he can't. No armory. Yeah, can't Both do that. During all of that, he's managed to get his third up. Yeah. Has he rebuilt the Templar archives? Uh, yes, he, that's it. Just finishing now in the building, notch. Yeah. Uh, he did, however, complete the storm already. So, yeah. Uh, at least didn't stop him on that. Um, yeah, Protoss looking pretty good. He's actually at plus 2 attack. He hasn't gone for armor at all yet. So he's almost purely offensive, which yep. could make a lot of difference down the line. Yeah, two, I think it could have made more difference earlier if he'd done some kind of pushing. Yeah. But then, for some reason, Pink really likes tanks and CVP. Mm. And yeah. getting no combat shield and building no medivacs. <laughs> yeah. He is getting two more stair ports. Um, and two more command centers. Yeah. He's, wow. he's spending his money. At least he knows... But yeah. he's got that crazy bank, so sometimes you have to do crazy things with it. If you know your macro slipping, then compensate for it. Just throw yeah, down just everything you need. Like, yeah. Uh, and that's that's what he is, is doing. He's still got thousands, but uh, his opponent definitely macroing pretty well. Inked Warrior hasn't had too much, except for the original gas that he had saved up on purpose. Um, yeah. Although he hasn't replaced... Um, gas miners in his main when he did lose yep. a bunch to the drought. And he's only mining from two, yep. with two workers in his natural as well. Two in the main. So, exactly. slight uh, little things, but they won't be game ending mistakes, I don't think. This is interesting. Two uh, ravens coming up. He threw down uh, tech labs on, hmm. on starboards. That can be interesting. If you're good with them, they're really good. But they are difficult. Yes, they are definitely not something I would expect a silver player to be incorporating no, into a build. Exactly. BCs are going to be making an appearance as well. Yeah. This, this is getting interesting. Yeah, that would be pretty <laughs> sweet. Uh, BCs are susceptible to the feedback from the High Templar, but yes, they are. they're still good. It only kills them like halfway. Uh, he's maxed out, though, actually, right now. Yep. So what he can needs to start sacking SCDs a bit. Uh, both of them deciding kind of to move out here. Hallucinated Colossus with this army. I kind of like that. Uh, I do. And yeah, not so siege many up. storms. Is he going to siege up? He's not sieging. <laughs> There's too many storms. Yeah. No, this army just, is just going yeah, to. He's just evaporate. standing in it. Standing in it. Unfortunately, if he had been sieged, I think this is a whole other fight. But he just gets ripped apart. Yep, still so many Templar with Storm, but there's no units out just now. Yeah. So this will be the end for game one. Yep. 
I'll uh, come up here now. That's that's a bit of a shame. And Pink Amina does GG up. Okay, so we are on Star Station for game two of this series, this final series to decide who goes to the round of 16 and spawning to the top left hand side we have as always in his masterful colour of pink it is Pink Amina and his opponent that just uh, dominate that base a lot on army control is our orange Protoss player who is looking to get into the round of 16. It is... Inked Warrior. And we'll see if Pink Amina can become a bit more aggressive early. Because um, I think he does have the opportunities to do that. There were definitely times where he had the superior upgraded army. He had a higher supply, uh, things like that. Yeah. He even had higher production to replace what he had. Um, I think if he, Pink he is going good. to win this series, it needs to be before 13 minutes. Yes. I think I, after I that, at that point, his general control and macro just yep. falls behind Ink too much. Yes. So like a one or a two base all in would be ideal just now from pink yeah I, I agree uh, not only the macro but as soon as there's AOE damage either Colossus or Storms I think he's going to fall behind he doesn't make Vikings really he doesn't make Ghosts he can't yep. really split out of those things very well and the micro is not going to be the strong suit so he does have to get it done early yep so let's hope that he's aware of that himself and let's hope he doesn't go for some kind of long game again. Mm -hmm. Protoss, um, everything's standard just now. Yeah, gone 2-2 two -two two on the gas. Uh, he was actually a little late filling them, but I think he'll still be fine. Okay, um, we I love the latest tech roll. Yeah. I think Pink is going to be trying the two racks. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's definitely he's putting the infrastructure down for it. So, tech lab, I have reactor on the barracks. And that barracks ideally will have a tech lab. But he did the same kind of setup, I believe, in his previous series with Inked. But yeah, never actually committed do it. to the aggression. Yeah. He expanded instead. So let's hope he doesn't expand and he just goes box to the wall with us and says, you know what, I need to win this game right here, right now. Yeah. I'm going to move out. Because Inked tends to delay his mothership core a lot more than other yeah. Protoss players seem to. Yeah, he delays it a lot, he doesn't get a lot of units, and he basically just gets the tech. Uh, it's just, gonna yeah. be a twilight, yeah. Like, that's and, exactly, like, that 100 gas, most Protoss players, is, how much gas is a uh, Yeah, it's 100 for a uh, twilight, yeah. Yeah, yep, so. 150, 100, yeah. Yep. Um, so yeah, his, his mothership core is later, he's expanding fairly late as well. Um, Yep, it's the two racks. So, yeah. I'm, I'm really liking this decision from Pink. Yeah, I think Pink. it could be quite good. Uh, he's going to hit before whatever this Twilight tech is going to be. And I assume... Definitely. But he's expanding again. Um, but he... Yeah, I assume this will be Blink. It's it a good map for it, most, kind of. And yeah. No, that probe's going out for a pylon to put down a DT yeah. shrine a bit. Uh, maybe. So, is Either that or the proxy late? for the... That'll just be a proxy pylon. It's too late for the DT shrine to no, be there's, the D, oh, there's, there's the DT, DT shrine, shrine in the base. In the base, he'll do it. But Pink should be moving out now that he's got two Marauders. He needs to go right now. Yep. Yep, and he's and going. There he goes. Okay. So, yeah, this could work out really well for him. Um, I think it will. Like, There's going to be enough energy for a Photon Overcharge, but he's going to cancel that Nexus. Um... He yeah. might be able to see that there's a dark shrine. I don't know. If he get yeah, if he really gets in there, or if he drops a scan, he'll be able to to see it. Um, even if he doesn't, as long as he raises like sees it or raises a supply depot and keeps it out. Yeah, 
Yeah, that but then he might be. be all right. One thing, his lack of multitasking may work to his favor in that he's not going to drop the mule. He's just going to yes. attack. Yes, that's actually a really good point. Mm -hmm. So we should be seeing a Nexus cancel at some point. No, don't yeah. go up the ramp, cancel the Nexus. Because I suppose, I don't, well, I suppose just, this makes a lot of sense. Yeah. So, right. bait, the, bait the overcharge, go back down, cancel the Nexus. Cancel the Nexus. It'll still be okay. okay. Uh, we'll, the Dark Shrine will finish, but now... Now do you warp it in at home? Because you have to. Yep, looks like that's his decision. Yeah, so he does have... Uh, He's going to save the Nexus. Yeah, he, he does have a scan. He just has to realize it. There's a scan. One Dark Templar falls. The Nexus is actually finished. The Nexus is going to survive as well. Yeah. I don't think Pink has any way to kill it. Because he has no more scans. Turrets yeah, are starting. Yeah, he hasn't sent reinforcements or anything. Um, Does yeah. he have reinforcements? Not really. No. He's, he's got like a few units in the base, but yeah, he stopped to drop the turrets. 1-1. One, um, one. It's halfway done. Yeah. That's insane. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be... Like, if he had more units, if he'd been macroing this entire time, that would be absolutely yeah. brilliant for him. But I think the gas would have been better spent on a factory and a starport, to be honest. At least the good thing that you will do. These turrets are up. These DTs aren't going to do a whole lot of anything. Uh, yeah. It does it shut down. One DT still in the mineral line. He'll have to scan that one. Oh, that's a poor scan. Yeah. That DT's going to survive. Yeah, he'll get out. He'll just that's do it again. Scan. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so that's, that's the end of him. So even if he just shuts that down, that's a big investment from Inked Warrior to do that. And they're both on two base. Yep. And their economies are quite similar. But uh but Ink Warrior's now gone down the path of a fairly failed duck. Yes, he's now gonna have to try and figure out something else to do, whether he goes into Templar, uh, High Templar rather. Or he just goes into Robo. Yep. I don't two know factories. what his decision will be. Yeah, two factories for pink. Mm -hmm. Um let's see what he would do. I'd say from there, maybe you just go storm since it's closer. Yep, that's that's what my yeah. instinct would yeah. be. It's it's definitely a lot closer to where you're already at. Uh, you have to swing all the way back out. He doesn't have really units too much. He's just going to have to rely on a couple DTs to get a little bit of map control and per perhaps prevent a push from coming. But Pinkamina is coming with now a pretty reasonable force. Yep. No. I'm seeing in the units tab that there are two DTs on the map. Yes. Where are they? Uh, there is and both one. mineral lines? Yeah, both yeah. mineral lines. Yeah. Yeah. That's an odd place for two DTs to be. Yeah, kind of. I guess anti-drop, but yeah, it's a little weird. You usually do want them on the other side of the map, so yeah. that they're watching for this type of push to come out. That's what you generally want to do with them, then their map control for you. Uh, needs to go off to the cannon. while well, they pick the sentry off, yep. Yeah. No, <laughs> not just yet, but he's still good. Yeah, there goes the sentry. Zealots, no no charge or anything. And just going to run into the main, miss force field there. And the force field keeping his own forces out a little bit. Uh, we'll need to drop a scan eventually to clean these up. No, unfortunately, they're targeting yeah. that cannon. Yeah, not, not what he needs to be targeting. So that didn't really go Pink's way. Again, he's floating a lot of money just now. Mm -hmm. After that, he's getting Hellions as well he as must a tank. Be thinking about a mech transition, I guess. Yeah, maybe Hellbabs into to deal with some of the Zealot charge. Yeah, mm -hmm. that can be my only thought behind it. Yeah, he is ahead in SCVs. Yeah. yeah, he is ahead in SCVs. In terms of units lost, he's also ahead, but he was way more ahead up until that. Um, this third base coming down now, that's what he would really like to have cancelled. Yes, um, I think if he doesn't cancel it, he's going to be in yeah, a fall huge down amount a of trouble. Because he hasn't even started a third command center yet. Yeah, Zealot's coming out now looking for his third, and we'll see that he doesn't have one. So unfortunately, it looks like Inked is going to start running away with this game at this point. Yeah. If this third base is allowed to finish. 
Does he have Storm yet? Nope, he's he not stopped. He doesn't. Yeah, he just has the archives itself. Uh, doesn't yet have the minerals, but he's got kind of the gas. A ton of gas. Yeah. Um, let's get a robo as well. And, and yeah. Yeah, this is the point where Inked Warrior just kind of explodes, text to everything. Yep. So on. We do have Pink coming across. If he can get uh, into this area before the storm is finished, there's just two Archons there. This force could yeah. kill two Archons. And, uh, that's yep. not a problem. But I don't think he knows it's there. Yep, interestingly, Inked is going to see this as being Bioforces, which of course it is. But yeah. he's not realizing back at home it's tanks and hellbats and marauders that's been made. Things that immortals are really, really good at killing. Yeah. Well, these two yeah. archons are getting taken down. target firing, yeah. One, one does fall. Second Goes one down. will go down. He, a pink, I feel, over micros a little bit. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's only focusing on them. Yeah. Um, yeah, he should be... And if he's going to focus that much, needs to target fire. An Archon with seven hit points needs to die. <laughs> yes. It, it should be dead. It shouldn't yeah. survive. <laughs> seven hit points is just crazy. It, uh, it will regen shields here now. The DTs are still putting in good work. Um, just getting on top of them. Yep. And more gates coming down. So many gates. Actually, how many gates is that? It is yeah, eight. Okay. Eight warp gates with another whole bunch working in just now. Yeah. Warp storm prism, just storm. He's plus two nearly storm. done. Yeah. No combat shield again. Like everything is lining up for inked, and pink just seems to be ever so slightly lacking in direction more than anything in this game. Now, what really will throw him off, and you've already said this, is this massive switch to, ta uh, to mech that yep. he has no idea about. That seems very out of place, but may very well be fine. Um, Might just work. Yeah, Maybe. he's getting the mech upgrades now. But uh, Inked Warrior does have to see this at some point and be aware that that's what's going on, or else yep. Storm and Archons and stuff are not generally going to be what you want. No, definitely not. Storm is still okay against the Hellbats. Yeah. But it's a waste of time against the tank. It takes three or four storms to actually get a tank down. Yeah, plus the space that they take up, you're not going to clump a bunch of yeah, tanks. Yeah, you're getting like one or two tanks. It's actually Thor's been added on now. Three Thor's coming out. That's pretty neat as well. Um, it's really cool. Yeah, they do pretty good damage. Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely going to be interesting that a lot of them are coming out. He is actually, you know, he's still got a lot of money, but he's spending his money. Uh, zealots, three zealots and a DT are about to be dropped on in. The Thor is and there. Thor, Thor immediately there to start fighting them. Uh, the Dark Templar is going to actually kill it. Yep. Yeah. Gonna have to bring his aliens in. Yeah, big war van. So uh, many Zell has been warped in. Yeah. Oh, that funnel. Yeah. That lack of micro. Yeah. Like he's He's got the units selected, but he's not doing anything with them. So yes. Like, he should be building uh, this. I'm not sure what he's doing here. He's <laughs> he's running he the up. doors kind of in circles, and he, he's blocked his own ramp with the tanks, and that yep. it's stopping him from doing he's anything. losing structures yeah. here. Yeah, DT is being warped in like crazy. Scans going off. No. I've, I don't know, but I think it's going to be difficult for him to recover. <laughs> yeah, that is that is a lot. It obviously does reveal. Hey, I'm on tech on uh, Mac. He's got two other bases around though. Uh, doesn't know about the Protoss Fourth, and these zealots are going to kind of. Are they going to see that base? No. Oh yeah. But they will come in at the third and just wipe everything out there. Yep, definitely. Yeah. But Pink, uh, well, sorry, Inked, is now Corona boosting out double Immortals. So he's just making sure that he has the perfect army for dealing with what Pink has. Yeah, that is what he needs. Yeah. Like, I think it's 60 odd damage versus armor to do. 
which is a lot, <laughs> really. Yeah, I, I think this is another case of um, if if Pink's aware of the fourth base, you go siege it up and kill yep. it, and then you siege up the third and kill it. Like he has to do something with this army. It can't be a purely defensive army, or he'll just change his composition and rock your army. That's yeah, yeah. which is exactly what he's doing. And there's still a window there to do something, but he's not not doing anything with it. Yep. And uh, um, another huge drop here again. There's so much of the production just dead. Yeah. For f pink. Uh, he's even going to get the armories now. Going to stop yeah, that yeah, too. Yeah, he stopped the upgrades here. That's a pretty big deal. He will get the. Uh, We'll get the attack. Yep, so... Things are really, really not looking good for Pink at this stage. No, and, and here comes the Zealots. Yeah, so that wave again into the third base, and he's just being out, out multitasked here. Yep, this is the danger of mech against Protoss. They can just pull you from side to side, and... I mean, it shows on the ramp more than anything. Mech units are really bulky. So these stars are holding up all the other units when they're trying to move about. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a random tank walking <laughs> on the other side of the map. Uh, and, uh, yeah, and Protoss says, works. yeah, I'm going to go. Yeah, I can kill you just now. So you'll probably try and warp in some zealots in the main, then engage. Nice widow mine hit, but that's not nearly enough. For the cost of the tank. We'll come in here now. A lot of tanks siege up, but uh, will he be able to do Let's much with see it? see if the Immortals can do it. Uh, Storm's coming in. Now, the Immortals will just pound through all of this. That's just scary. Yeah. Down to 30 supply, and that's all in workers. That is... Unfortunately, Pink's tournament ends here. Yep. Uh, but congratulations to Ingt Warrior, he's advancing on to the round of 16.